was good. This is such a cute way to start out the vlog. Bruh. I'm trying out this new sponge. Well, I've had this before. It's actually the Real Techniques diamond sponge. I was at Ulta. I wet it, so it's kind of big. And I saw they came out with like this limited edition unicorn color situation. So I've been all about the unicorn vibes recently just to add new fun things to my collection. But I thought today would be a fun opportunity to get ready with you, talk to you guys, catch you up on things that have been going on. I looked at my channel and I realized that I haven't uploaded, I think in four days, which in real life is like, okay, cool, four days. But in YouTube world, it feels like a month. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I was feeling like I haven't really been able to connect with you guys. So I wanted to do a Kayla talk slash an update slash trying new makeup i do want to film a little bit later so i had to get ready anyways and i think a friend of mine is coming over this evening so might as well get ready now because it's been so gloomy like i've been so freaking tired i strive off of sunny days hence why i love living in la because every day is literally perfect i'm not gonna say that i hate the rain because i love it it reminds me of the weather back home and it's nice to actually have some sort of a weather change even though it's just wet and rainy and cold outside but it's been nice to be at home editing looking out the window gray skies but it's actually nice lighting in the bedroom plus since daylight savings the sun's out longer so it works even better for youtubers we don't have to rush to film to get that natural light so anyways update on the mood situation i think that's also why i haven't really been posting because i've just been so groggy i don't know what eye makeup i want to do i want to do something very simple i actually screenshotted a photo which i probably will recreate something similar it was a kim kardashian look i think she was just promoting her bake and set whatever makeup i've never really bought any of her stuff so i don't really know the whole deal about that but i loved I love this eyeshadow situation. It looks like she has like brown liner, smoky under eye, some lashes of course, and a soft blend in the crease. So I'm going to do something similar with that. Definitely going to add false lashes to look. I'm just kind of like too lazy right now to do actual eyeshadow. Plus I went to a couple of events this past week. Um, so I've been like full face. I just want to do something simple but still cute. And I'm actually going to try out this palette that I got in the mail. And it's an Urban Decay palette it's so cute i love these little minis because they're great for travel and it's the new naked petite heat the packaging is literally flames of course it comes with a mirror on it so you can see yourself but i love that it's all mattes i love that it is still like the heat palette but in a more like compact size you have your highlights your blending color some good under eye and outer corner crease color i'll show you guys a comparison now i bought this one myself but this one obviously is on a much bigger scale, very orange. This one doesn't have a good mix of shimmer and matte, but this is a really good palette for go-to. And like I said, if you like the warmer orangey shades, you're gonna love this palette and also the compact as well. I feel like the compact is just something that you can throw in your makeup bag and just pop it on your eye and just be done because it's just super simple shades like that. So let me just kind of hurry up. I remember like when I do these videos, I talk, 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 and I just get sidetracked. But that's always good though, right? I feel like I'm just talking to my BFFs, which is the point. That's why I like doing these. Sweetie, is that how you say your name? Side note, loving her new album that just came out. It's called High Maintenance. Basically, girl power. That's how I see the album. She has this song called Icy Girl, and I love that song so much. I would love to play my playlist, but like copyright. So just check me out on Spotify. I always link my account down below you guys know the drill i actually threw a bunch of her stuff in the get lit playlist because like when i'm doing my makeup i like to listen to that playlist to get ready or if i'm going out for the night or i have people over which is like one person <laughs> beverly then we'll listen to that while we like pregame and stuff so listen to it it's a good ep it's like i don't know six or seven songs or something pretty good i need to get a new under eye concealer because i'm running out of everything but right now i'm using my makeup forever ultra hd i actually really love the Too faced born this way with the doe foot applicator but man i ran out of that a long time ago so i need to go to sephora I actually have a list in my phone of things that i need to pick up 
Do I even have time to film? God, it's like already almost four o'clock. I have to go check the mail also. And I need to go buy another new phone case. You guys, I just bought this in the vlog when I went to an album release event this week. I dropped my phone face down. Thank God it's just the case that cracked because, I mean, it did its job. But it cracked on the side, and now it's like a, a hazard to me cutting myself with the um, plastic. So I need to go buy another phone case. So if you guys have any, like, good brands, I don't know, they're, like, foolproof. Don't say an otter box because those are too bulky for me. Do people still use those? So cute. <laughs> also, I've been wearing the same outfit for the past four days. Like, I have not left my house other than work events. But, like, bruh, no one's looking at me while I'm here, right? So don't judge me. All right. So I'm going to set my under eyes with my translucent powder. Everyone's favorite question. When do you feel like enough is enough? In any given relationship, whether it's friends, acquaintances, romantic relationship, platonic, whatever, like I said, friendships, to just do your own thing and leave the situation. Do you ever feel like, I know maybe we have all kind of been there, this is where the Kayla talk comes in, because I feel like everyone kind of goes through this in life, we're always changing, we're always evolving, our interests change, our hobbies change. Our work lives change, our schedules are so busy all the time, but do you ever feel like you put in maybe 90% into your relationship, but the other person maybe only puts in 10%? When I feel like a relationship should be 50-50? I feel like sometimes I find myself getting into those situations where I'm giving, 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 and I'm not giving to receive, but they don't even honestly act like they're appreciative to the things that I'm putting into the relationship, or they don't really what's the word i'm looking for not appreciate but maybe even recognize the efforts you know what i'm saying like i don't know like i just feel like when do you feel like enough is enough to step away and just sort of distance yourself regardless you have to grow as a human you're not going to be born into the world the same person as you are that day as you will be 10 years down the road like that's just impossible you have to have growth in your life to see good things happen and to find out what it is that you like, what interests you like, what hobbies you like, etc. So I'm like trying to find all my makeup, my desk is a mess. But I just feel like at some point you just need to kind of evaluate the situations and those relationships, those acquaintance relationships as well. Like is it really worth your time to be putting in 90% when that other person is barely giving you 10? I feel like that's exhausting. It's so freaking exhausting. I feel like I could be putting that 90% back into myself. It's almost kind of useless i feel like there's something in my eyeball right now bruh and i'm not gonna sit here and say oh that's so selfish but it's not i feel like it's maybe even selfish on the other person's part maybe they just don't value the relationship the friendship as much as you do and if that is the case then you definitely need to step away from that situation because it's not really benefiting you at all so i think it's important to have these sort of like realizations and I'm not saying like ditch all your friends, but is the relationship 50-50? If it is, that's amazing. You're blessed. It's just one of those things that I've been thinking about recently and I wrote it down because I was like, let me talk to the dolls about this. Do they relate? Have they experiences? And I was like, they probably have some bomb advice for your girl. I'm always asking you guys for advice. I can't just give all the advice too because you guys have amazing advice and I feel like we can relate on all aspects of our lives. And I like to have these sort of discussions because it opens up my eyes to a lot of things that perspectives, you know, that I never really necessarily thought about before. So ever since I sort of took a step back and analyzed and kind of looked at those relationships, those acquaintances, was it worth my energy, my efforts? Was I putting in more than they were even putting in? Did they even show appreciation? Then I sort of realized like, okay let me just do me and that has been the motto of this year is do more and say less and that was like in my list of my goals that was the first thing that i wanted to write down shout out to my grandma for that advice she was like kayla stop telling everybody your business focus on you grandma knows what's up you guys so i just started to do more and say less focus on myself and i've also realized maybe because i'm getting older i don't have to be everywhere just because like i don't need to go out to the bar because it's the weekend and get drunk i don't have to go out and do for someone and do 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 like i do like i always have this issue of saying no when i 
forget that no is an option. You know what I mean? I don't have an obligation to always say yes to other people, especially when they are so quick to say no to me if I have ever asked them for something. So I've also come to realize that no is actually an option and you don't have to always say yes to every request that someone asks you. I mean, yes, of course, I'm gonna be there for you, but I can't just always just be so quick to stop everything and drop everything that I'm doing to come to your rescue, quote unquote, per se, especially when that person doesn't really show that they would do it back. That's what I've realized, and that's when I had to take a step back. It's almost crazy because I feel almost like I'm being used, even though that might not be their intention, but it feels kind of like that, especially when they're so quick to put off any request that you might have in the relationship, whatever it may be, like taking a picture for your Instagram or helping you out with, um, wow, it's my apartment, probably calling me about my washing machine. Hello? 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 Hi, I'm Kayla. Yes. I just got your email regarding the washing dryer. Mm-hmm. Um, I do apologize if there were some delays. Um, I All right, bye. Alright, great, thank you. I wrote a very a detailed email this morning. And he called me real freaking quick. Yes, guys, it's officially been a month since my washing machine has been broken. You guys know I have documented this experience. With the whole like no being an option, I've also come to realize during the year of 2018 that I need to stick up and stand up for myself a lot more than I have and stop being so nice to people that don't necessarily deserve the nicest. I mean, in a sense, you don't want to walk around being rude and mean and hasty. So that's why I wrote an email very detailed and requested compensation for the inconvenience. Not only inconvenience, but like the fact that there's water sitting in there, it's detrimental to my health with the fact that it has mildew and mold and that's what I wrote in there. So he said that he will obviously call the tech to come back out because he did come out but didn't fix the issue. So I said I'm going to need a new machine. So behind this whole story is I'm learning to stand up for myself and not let people continue to walk over me because I am young like I look young maybe they don't put that as a priority like okay she doesn't really know what's happening and yes we're having new management come through and the ladies in training I get that but I've been here for three years now when I resigned my lease so I just feel like there should be some sort of a loyalty and with all of this as well like I'm a very loyal person and you have to stop letting your loyalty get in the way of the decisions and your own self-worth like you can't just be loyal to people that aren't loyal back to you I'm seeing a lot of growth in myself because of these changes that I've made and it makes me so happy it makes me feel so blessed and grateful for those opportunities and I want to bring in meditation to this conversation because without meditation I wouldn't have the clarity that I do and I wouldn't have realized all that I needed to realize to get that growth and to see the progression in my life whether it be getting over social anxiety, networking at social events, meeting new people, finding these new interests like I don't know what it is but I just have come to realize so much it's almost like my eyes have just been opened up to a whole nother light a whole nother world and it's my intuition man get on that third eye chakra click those chakras into place with your crystals because at the end of the day you gotta rock with yourself <laughs> copyright is the worst we could have so much more fun if I could actually play the music that I wanted to play. Sorry, I just uploaded a video and I love to see the comments. And it's just like bothering me that I've been so distant from the dolls on the computer. So I'm going to finish my eye makeup. I just sort of quickly did my face because I realized that I was taking way too long. And I really have got to film my lifestyle video. I'm gonna do that Kim K inspired eye because I feel like it's pretty simple to do. It's not too dramatic, but it adds a little bit of definition. So I'm gonna use my new Urban Decay Petite Heat for this. It honestly looks like she probably used this in the photo. So I already applied my brow bone, which is this color here on the end called Inhale. By the way, you can get these at Sephora stores. This one has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it's nice to add a little bit of a highlight to the brow. It also looks like she doesn't have any actual eyeliner on the top which is good because your girl can't do eyeliner to save her life so it looks like she just smudged a really dark brown so for that i'm going to use this on the outer 
or the last color on my lash line and then the lower lash line is super smoked so I'm gonna go in with the second darkest color and then for the crease and the lid I'm just gonna blend out this one this brown it literally looks pretty identical to this photo that I'm looking at right here I'm using this fluffy um, brush from Sigma I'll leave my favorite brush kits linked down below I'm just gonna lightly buff it out and kind of drag it down to the lid as well it looks very natural that's why i like this picture and i was like okay i can do that but also i kind of want to circle back to my conversation earlier because i don't want you guys to feel like oh no i have to cut out everyone in my life that doesn't give the 50 50 percent in the relationship because that's not true all you have to do and what i've been doing is just evaluating as much effort that i'm putting into the relationship i still the people it's just i'm not putting in that 90 percent like i've put more of that energy on myself and what makes me happy and putting that into my own self growth which is important you can't put all your eggs in one basket focus on the things in your life that are going to make you a better person focus on your hobbies and your interests also i think it's important to let you guys know and i'm sure you guys know this by now is i'm a very like a homebody type of person like i'm happy and content being home by myself because my work life is here like it's fine like i can focus on other things that i enjoy doing i picked up a new hobby i'm practicing my french again i'm 23 percent fluent so get at me in the comments below but i've just been doing things like that that are helping me as a person so i'm content with being by myself obviously i go out to social events and um, i do see my friends but i don't need to see them all of the time to feel love in that relationship like i prefer almost to have a few friends i'm not the type that has to have like a taylor swift squad like i don't i don't need a squad to feel good also, that's too much energy that I would have to give out, and I don't have the time or patience for that, but you might. You might be the type of person that loves to have a bunch of friends. I just can't physically give that much energy to that many people. Like For me, less is more, and I'm content with having a few friends that I can count on my hand. I am the type that gives all of myself or none of myself, and maybe that's the problem. I give way more than what I get back, but I don't know. Still work in progress. You know like when you're giving advice and you end it with, but I don't know, it's because you don't want to be blamed for the situation that goes left. I don't know, I'm just out here doing me and that's honestly all I can say. Focus on you guys. That's the moral of this vlog. Don't play yourself. So now I'm gonna use this little liner brush. It's actually a paintbrush. I think I actually got this from Michaels in 2010 or something. Um, and I'm gonna line just on my lash line, make it a little bit thick and smoke it out with a pencil brush. Oh, I like this color. This is cute. It's called Strike. And it didn't look like there was a wing. Let me double check because I ain't got time for no wing. Nah, it doesn't look like it. I'm going to get a fluffy like pencil brush. I love these ones by Sigma. I'm not going to put product on it. I'm just going to kind of blend out that line that I did to make it a little smoky like the picture. That was so easy to do. The little smoke so i'm going to do some eyeliner on the uh, lower lash line and then also on the tight line to define our lashes a little bit more so when we do put the lashes on it'll blend mm. also this is not a tutorial we don't do tutorials we already knew that also i'm using the makeup forever aqua xl in the black one and I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line with that second to the darkest color. I actually might mix it with the, I'm gonna mix these two actually together because it looks pretty orangey, which I love the orange vibes. Mmm, okay, I love this. Does she have any like sparkly in her corner? She has a little bit of shimmer in her corner, so I'll probably take that same highlight shade and my highlighting brush. Yeah, that looks good. Just to brighten it up a little bit. I like this, you guys. Okay. 
Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then put on some mascara and my eyelashes. Oof. All right, I'm letting my other eyelash dry really quick, but I like this look. I see what Kim was doing. First of all, I like that it adds that definition with like the smoked out lash line, but you don't have to go in with liquid eyeliner. So it's definitely easy peasy. Like if I can do it, you guys can for sure do it because eyeshadow, eye makeup is just not my strong point in life and I've accepted that, but I love how simple it was like, I'm not mad at this look. So I definitely think this might be my new everyday. I like that it's still pretty shimmery here in the inner corner and underneath the brow bone. The crease is lit, the under eyes smoked out. It's just very soft and effortless. So if you guys have that Naked Heat palette, try it out. Lashes just make all the difference. Even for like these natural looks, like it just takes it up a notch. It fell in my hair. Bruh. I'm gonna still put it on my eye though. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's try it again. There we go. With these natural looks, lashes go really well, I think. It's one thing I had to teach myself is how to put these on. But I do find that these particular lashes are the easiest because the band is a little bit thicker. Do I have a lash glue in my weave? Probably. I just find it's more um, easy to control where you put them compared to like the thin bands. I feel like those are too flimsy and wobbly and they're not very stable. So I prefer the thicker bands, but that's just me. I know some people might hate them. But for someone that doesn't really do lashes that well, mm, these look great. And we're done with the eyes. I just need to find a lip. I'm gonna try out a new little combo here because I make the biggest messes when I do my makeup. Let me just clean that up for a second. So I think I'm gonna go with not a liquid lip. We're gonna switch it all the way up with you guys. I'm gonna go in with my stripped down pencil. and line my lips because they're too pigmented right now i should mm. fill them in yeah i have not worn lip pencil in so long okay now that that's on because i wanted to outline my lips and define them because i want to add this new gloss this is something new from urban decay which they just sent out. I'm gonna actually film today like a huge makeup haul unboxing, like $2,000 worth of free makeup unboxing haul. I think it's gonna be so much fun, which is why I'm getting glam in the first place. So this one has a little bit of um, glitter to it, but it's like finely milled and these are so pigmented. The color of this one's called Fuel. And I like the packaging. It does pick up a lot of fingerprints on it though, but they're supposed to be super high shine. And I like the applicator on these. It's like a flat dough tip doe foot i'm sorry but wow look at how pigmented i think it's gonna look really nice wow did you see that the packaging was like reflecting um i think it's gonna go really nicely with the stripped down pencil because it's almost the same just a little shiny and they taste so good like minty but like sweet i want to say spearmint yeah, I love these glosses. I'm curious about the wear, so I will probably check back in with um, the wear time. But I need to go set up my room. Hopefully the lighting is still pretty good. This took longer than I expected to vlog, but I don't mind. I love having these like girl chat. I don't wanna say girl chats because guys watch my vlogs too. So doll chats, Kayla talks, but this is nice. Hmm. Little juicy lip action I don't really feel like curling my hair again I don't have time to do it so we're gonna have to rock this bed head maybe I'll throw on a beanie I feel like it's gonna be a pretty casual outfit anyway or casual haul I hope you guys enjoyed today's chatty get ready with me i always have fun doing these kayla talks with you guys and if i'm gonna get ready anyways i might as well throw in some advice and make it more friendly like like i said earlier like i love doing this because i feel like we're just 
two people, friends, chilling, casually getting ready. Maybe you guys did your makeup with this video as well, then that'd be super lit. Um, then it would actually feel like we're getting ready together. I would love to just hear about your personal experiences in the comments down below, just so we can make this more of a conversation. I don't want people to feel like, oh, I'm alone in this. I feel this way, but I don't know if anyone else does. Is it all in my head? Because it's definitely not. We all have, I think, insecurities. I don't want to say that what I was talking about is an insecurity, but it can be, especially when you feel like you're putting in all of your energy into something that you feel like isn't being reciprocated. So don't feel bad about that. Just have a self-reflection on what's important to you. Is it worth all of your time to exhaust in those relationships? And if it is, then continue to do that. But I feel like you're just hurting yourself in the end. And I totally forgot to put on mascara on the lower lash line forgot to put on lower lash line mascara so i'm going to use this mark jacobs velvet noir mascara to finish off this look let me know if you guys like these videos don't forget to thumbs up subscribe holler at me in the comments down below i feel like my lips are just really juicy right now and i'm getting a little sidetracked and distracted but it doesn't feel sticky you know, like sometimes you put on gloss and you get that stupid stringy like tackiness this doesn't do it so i can already tell i'm gonna love this nope feels so good so i'm gonna see you guys in my next video coming up very soon i'm back on the frequent uploads definitely got re-inspired to post more often and frequently i just felt like it was the weather honestly that was just dragging out my mood and i was like i don't want to get out of bed but like bruh, i gotta make my coin too